Hey guys, so I'm sorry if my hair looks wet. Um, that is because I just took a shower. Um, so this is going to be a kind of a little follow-up video on the Sorrel Weed House. Um, and just a little bit of, of witchy advice. Um, now first of all, let me just say that even if you are not of the pagan religion, you should still go into a haunted house with respect. Don't sit there and start calling out the spirits and start calling them names. That's disrespectful, and nine times out of ten, you're going to get attacked. Um, however, if you do go in there and you're very respectful to the spirits, um, you shouldn't have anything happening to you. Happen to you. Um, you know, do your prayers, do your circle of protection. That was what I was always thought. I'm so taught. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my blanket on me. Guys, it is freezing in my house. We have, like, no heat for whatever reason. Um, or no, we don't have any heat because of the fact that my, um, our heater broke. So, and the guy has to order the parts, and this is the second time it has happened. So, yeah. So, during the day, it's, like, really hot, and during the night, it's, like, really cold. So, we're, like, piling up blankets and stuff. Sorry, I had to listen for the dryer. Um... Anyway, getting back to what I was saying, don't go into a haunted house with disrespect and start bashing and calling out the spirits and calling them names because you're going to get attacked. I, I can almost guarantee you're going to get attacked. Um, if you're new to Wicca, um, witchcraft, Wicca, stuff like that, if you do do spells and you are new to it, um, take this advice. <laughs> do not go into a haunted house and disrespect the spirits because like I said you're gonna be attacked and I can't repeat this enough to new witches um I do have a pagan channel so if you want to check that out that's in my uh, channel it's on my channel in the channels section um it is amethyst seahorse um so I think anyway so like I was saying, don't disrespect the spirits, respect them, you know, respect goes a long way, in, even in the afterlife. Um, now, when I went to the Sorrel Weed House the other night, I had watched something on YouTube about another viewer who did the Sorrel Weed House, you know, a couple years ago, and how, um, interestingly enough, when they do the ghost tours in the coach house, a lot of people report getting very nauseous and, um, to the point where they feel like they're going to throw up and they actually step out to go get sick and then they don't. It's like the nausea is gone. Um, a lot of people have said that um, Miss Sorrell is supposed to be a um, active spirit in the house. Um, do I think she meant to scare me out of the house? No, I wasn't really scared going into the house. I went in there with an open mind, open heart, open spirit. Um, you know, I, I just, I said mentally, I said, you know, I, re I don't mean any harm. I respect you. Um, however, you are not allowed to follow me. Um, basically, put your foot down. And, um... If you don't believe me, then you can go to a lot of other witches that are probably going to tell you the same thing, that I've been doing this for three, four, five years. <laughs> um, so I just basically said, you know, I respect you mentally. I said, you know, I respect you. I respect the spirits. I don't mean any harm. I'm just here to videotape and vlog. Um, now, I think in her, with Miss Sorrell's situation, seeing as she died, in the 1800s, you know, for strangers to be coming in her house wearing pants and, you know, not dresses and skirts and stuff, um, I think she was a little bit offended because she probably looked at us like we were savages, um, you know, and that was the thing back then, women wore dresses, men wore the pants, um, the thing is, is in the 1800s, women had very little to no rights. Um, so, I mean, you were basically, you were screwed either way in the 1800s. Um, now I'm teasing. Um, but it is true, women had very little to no rights in the 1800s. Uh, if your husband said, 
I don't want you to come outside for a month, then there was really nothing anybody could do for you, you know? Um, if your husband was abusing you back in the 1800s, it was, you know, oh, what did you do to displease him? Um, what did you do to not to make him hit you? Or, you know, stuff like that. Because, like I said, and women had very little to no rights in the 1800s. However, in the 1800s, it was women wore the dresses and men wore pants because of the fact that they were the breadwinners, basically. And, you know, I mean, no offense to anybody in the present day. Um, so I think that coming into her house and her seeing all these people, um, all these women wearing pants and dress and, you know, shirts and stuff and, you know, not something that you would wear from that time period. I think she was very stunned at the fact that these savages were coming into her house and taking pictures and talking about her. Um, I think that's why a lot of people report getting um, nauseous because she's trying to basically say, hey, I don't know you. Get out of my house. <laughs> um, now, I did, I do respect her, you know, and I, I did, um, I kind of, there was a kind of a little voice in the back of my head that said it's, it's Miss Sorrell. Um, and I did apologize, you know, at the end of the tour and everything, before we walked outside, I did say, you know, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. Um, I respect you, so, you know, I'm sorry if I offended you. I didn't mean to. Um, I'm sorry I took my technology into your home without asking. So I think that was kind of a big mistake on my part that I didn't really mentally, I didn't ask if I can take, um, videos or, or, you know, stuff like that. So I think that's why a lot of people report feeling nauseous and stuff. Um, now we didn't go, during the day it's more of like, you know, they just tour the house. You know, this is the living room, this is the hallway, this is the dining room, the bedrooms, the back rooms, you know. We didn't really go upstairs um, to the third floor. Uh, we just did the main floor and then the downstairs, which was the basement, which is, um, supposedly there's a really bad entity down there in the basement. Um, and I did bring my little, my little wizard dude, he doesn't leave without me. Um, for those of you that don't know, I do, I am a sea witch. And I basically, I'm just, I basically work with the sea. <laughs> um, in a nutshell, I'm sure somebody could tell you more. But, uh, I brought my lucky shark tooth that had sat on my altar to Athena for, like, ever. So I did bring this. This came all the way from, I think, Jamaica? Um, or the Cayman Islands? I don't know. My grandparents got it for me on a cruise, so. That is my lucky shark tooth. I brought that with me. And then I did bring my little wizard that my aunt gave me. Um... Sorry. My little wizard. I don't know who made him um, or what brand he is. All I know is that he is a metal, a metal wizard. And it says copyright mm. no it doesn't say copyright. It says CM7592 and then it says spooning. I don't spoon or spooning. I don't know. Um, there isn't really a company that is not like a prominent company that made it. There's like no prominent. And he is metal. He did come to Savannah with me. He came to Paris Island with me. And he came to Savannah with me. He is my wizard. He is my protector. Um, so I did keep him in my back, my book bag, and, you know, I did bring him with me. Shh, don't tell my uncle or not, or my aunt and my mom and stuff, because I would have heard, never heard the end of it. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video um, to this series, and I hope you all enjoy it. Bye.